What's up you guys and welcome back to my channel. Today is episode 12 in my Organize with Olivia series. And if you guys haven't yet seen episodes 1 through 11, I will make sure to have the entire playlist linked down below in my description box. But today we are deep cleaning the entire kitchen. I'm talking about really scrubbing out the stove, the drip trays. We are also going to pull everything out of the fridge and organize it. I'm also going to show you how I clean my dishwasher and my Keurig coffee maker. We just have a lot to get done. So if you guys are ready for some extreme cleaning motivation, then make sure to hit that thumbs up button and also make sure you're subscribed because the cleaning won't stop here. To get started, I wanna go ahead and give our dishwasher a really good deep clean. I just feel like it has a slight odor and I'm just hoping to get rid of that. And also a lot of food gets tossed around in here when things are cleaning. And I just feel like it could really use a nice clean wash and rinse. But before we can do that, I need to go ahead and get it unloaded. Once we get everything put away, I'm gonna go ahead and fill my measuring cup with one cup of white vinegar. And I'll be placing it on the top rack of the dishwasher. I will also be sprinkling just a little bit of baking soda on the bottom and then I'm going to run this for about an hour on the hottest cycle. I will admit I don't deep clean this oven very often, mainly because I know it takes a lot of time and effort that I just don't always have, but I do today so I'm going to go ahead and start by removing the metal racks and then spraying everything down using the Method brand degreaser. I am gonna let that sit for about five to 10 minutes while I quickly wash up the dishes that are in the sink. And it's kind of funny because all of the dishes that are in the sink could go in the dishwasher, but I just didn't wanna have to wait until these were done washing to clean the dishwasher. So we're just gonna go ahead and get everything done by hand. If you guys haven't checked out my last video, I will make sure to have it linked down below in my description box. But just in case you did see it, this is just a reminder that I had shared a few new jewelry pieces that were sent to me from Anna Luisa. And they were so kind to send over a discount code for you guys. Um, just a reminder, I don't make any commission if you guys do decide to purchase, but it's just a nice way to say thank you and help you save some money on your entire purchase. I will try to have everything linked down below in the description box for you guys. Now that the dishes are all washed, I'm gonna go ahead and pop up my stove drip trays because they are disgusting. And to clean these, I'm gonna go ahead and fill my sink with hot water. I am gonna pour a little vinegar and baking soda and just let them soak for a while while I get the dishes dried and put away. Right, so now that the Method brand degreaser has had time to really soak in, I'm just gonna go ahead and take a few paper towels and wipe up as much stuff as possible. I am gonna be running the oven self-clean in a minute here, but I just wanna get as much up as I can or it will burn in the oven and make the apartment smell really bad. I just wanna get you on my grid sometimes, on my grid sometimes. Now that the oven self clean is turned on, I'm gonna go ahead and work on the top of the oven and the stove area. I will be using the same degreaser spray. And during this time, I also made sure to take off the knobs so I could really get those washed up and clean underneath. I will also be lifting up the top of my cooktop so I can also clean under there as well. I just really feel like this Method brand degreaser does an amazing job in soaking into tough stuck on food and just lifting it so it's super easy to wipe up.
So while the drip trays are still soaking, I'm really quick just gonna wash up the knobs and then I will get to scrubbing the trays. Our drip trays always get so bad and I've cleaned them quite a few times in the past but in my opinion nothing seems to work as good as this steel wool. You will see me using rubber gloves just so I don't ruin my hands or nails because this stuff is really coarse and really scrapes any tough stuck on food or stains. I am so happy with how things are looking so far and I'm just so ready to get my oven put back together. I'm gonna go ahead and put the knobs back on, the drip trays, and then also the heating coils. You were my best friend Didn't care about the rules Good on the weekends I'll be in fools Drifting the deep space So brave and so stupid Just like the movies how it's gonna stay in the fight with you Just thinking we would do this until we couldn't do it Each and every high, every night with you You and me so clueless We were just broken, shattered Singing along to nothing matters Stray around like nighttime rumors We were in too deep Now it's time to clean out our Keurig and for this I just like to add some fresh water with some white vinegar and I let it run um, just a few times through the cycle until the tank is completely empty and then I will refill it with just regular water and let that run through just to really flush everything out. And while that is continuing to run and work its way clean, I am going to go ahead and get started on our fridge. And you guys, this has gotten so bad. I've been avoiding it like no other because there's just leftovers in here that I know are like two to three weeks old. But just with everything going on right now, I wanna get a fresh start and get rid of anything that's expired and get it back to being clean and organized. So I'm taking everything out and I'm just working my way from top to bottom. And to wipe up my fridge, I will be using my Jaws kitchen cleaner, which I love, and also a microfiber cleaning cloth. Okay, you guys, I am embarrassed to share this, but this is what happens when you let things go just a little too long. I have no idea what it is that's spilled right here, but it's like hardened from the fridge temperature and it doesn't want to come off. I've tried a few different things. I tried letting it soak for a few minutes and honestly, I ultimately ended up just using the steel wool and it came right up. Thankfully, it didn't scratch anything and I'm just so happy that it's finally back to being clean. If 
if you guys aren't following me over on Instagram, I will have my username on the screen here and also a link down below in my description box. I just love to share cleaning and organizing and just a lot of motivational content daily. So if you guys are interested in keeping up with me on the day-to-day, -day, definitely head over there and give me a follow. I had mentioned the other day that I'm going to be deep cleaning a ton of different areas around my home and the kitchen being one of them, but I want to clean things like our vacuum, electronics, baseboards, couches, just things like that. So if you guys are interested in seeing more of these deep cleaning type videos, then definitely hit that subscribe button and just also leave me a comment down below just letting me know maybe some other video ideas on things you'd like to see me deep clean. Again, here is just the before shot. Still so embarrassed with how awful I let this get, but I'm so happy we got it cleaned up and back to being organized because look at how much better everything is and how much more space we have. Hopefully this gives you all some much needed motivation to get up and get your fridges cleaned out. But moving right along, our dishwasher is finally done and just in time because I have a ton of leftover containers that need to be washed. I know that this cup of vinegar wasn't much, but I can already tell a difference in the smell. And going forward, I'm going to do a lot better about rinsing everything out really well before sticking them in the dishwasher because I think that is the main reason it smells. We don't run the dishwasher every single night, so I can just imagine the food that sometimes sits in here and ugh, it just grosses me out just thinking about it. So I'm really quickly just loading it up with the container so I can get it started and get everything washed. All right, you guys, so it is a little bit later now, but the oven self cleaner is finally done and cooled off. And just look at how gross this is. I'm really happy to see that it did burn off most of the stuck on food and hopefully it'll make for an easy cleanup, but I am gonna be spraying a little bit of the Mrs. Meyer spray just to kind of start soaking everything up. And then I will be sprinkling some baking soda and of course white vinegar to create like a paste like substance. I will then be putting my gloves back on so I can use the steel wool and really get everything scrubbed up. So once the scrubbing is done, I will be taking a wet washcloth and wiping everything down. I'm just going to be going back and forth and continuing to rinse the washcloth just so that I can keep things clean. But once I get everything up, I will be taking a paper towel and giving it one last wipe down before I put the grates back in and show you the final results. Nothing's gonna make us spell it out I don't wanna be the one to say to I told you so And even if the sky was falling down You never notice anyone around I don't wanna be the one to say to I told you so Again, here is just the before shot once more so you guys can compare and then here is the after. I am so happy I took the time to do this. It's by no means perfect. I could spend a lot more time on it, but it honestly made a world of a difference. Now that the Keurig is all done running its course, I'm gonna go ahead and give all of the parts and pieces a really good wash. I like to do this about once a month or so, but <laughs> To be honest, it has been a good month or two since it's been done. Once these parts are all washed up, I'm gonna go ahead and scrub out the sink. And this is not a new task. I pretty much do this every day, but I will be using my Mrs. Meyers dish soap in the lavender scent just to really make things smell fresh and clean. But I... 
If you guys decide to tackle any of these deep cleaning tasks, I would love to see your before and after pics, so please make sure to take me over on Instagram. If you guys are still looking for some cleaning motivation, I will have my Organize with Olivia series linked down below. You guys can watch episodes 1 through 11 all the way through, and I will also link a few of my favorite videos for you as well to check out. I hope you all consider hitting that subscribe button if you haven't already. It is completely free and it just really helps my channel out. And so does liking this video. So make sure to head over there and click the thumbs up button. But I really just want to thank you all so much for spending your Sunday morning with me. Make sure you have your bell notifications turned on because very soon I will be sharing my morning routine with you all now that I'm working from home. I've had a lot of requests to share this video, so hopefully you guys enjoy it. But before you leave, I hope you all stay happy and healthy, and I cannot wait to see you all in my next video. Bye!